Hello there, my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and wishing all of you a happy Chinese New Year. May you be blessed with good health, and may 10,000 wishes come true. In Chinese, 祝你身体健康, 万事如意. So on to business, what's happening in the world of data protection. Let's see the most biggest news in Singapore that happened recently. Singtel was reached with more than 100,000 customers' data being stolen because of a data breach, not because Singtel didn't protect their data, but it was because their third-party contractor was result of a major cyber attack and they were hacked. So click above to watch the video of what my I, I talk about the Singtel and about third parties here. So apart from this breach, there was also a major breach that happened in Florida and this time it was actually a very deadly one because hackers actually attempted to poison the water supply. And this is where I believe I wish governments would take very very serious um, concern over infrastructure uh, installations such as this water treatment. I mean, there could be evil hackers who want to hold the city or country ransom. And I believe in countries there are also uh, cyber security laws to ensure that any uh, company or entity that deals with local infrastructure ensures that their systems are well protected. So just to also remind um, viewers here that every entity has a risk of being attacked, so make sure you stay vigilant. And of course, the lesson here is always be prepared rather than sorry, and I would like to recommend this article from Forbes magazine by the writer called Edward Seagal, where he talks about seven ways to prepare and recover from a cyber attack. And I believe that Waterplant and Singtel is now working on their recovery and uh, recovery right now because not only has uh, the PR suffered but I'm sure there may possibly be some damages to the systems or maybe even uh, service recovery required to uh, handle customers inquiries and maybe even insurance and of course to answer to the regulators. Now um, this is where we also look at what's coming up ahead in 2021. And in 2021, we see a possible rise of uh, continued cyber attacks because even as the world is on lockdown and despite va uh, vaccines being rolled out in several countries, I believe the, the hackers will not stop. They will continue to uh, be very bold to attack companies, big and small, and maybe even governments. So there should be an increase in the number of uh, trainings for staff regards to cyber hygiene and even increase in budgets. So how much are you spending on cyber security uh, uh, tools in your company? And how much are you even spending on training? If you want to find out more about training, please ping me and I'll be glad to contact uh, if we get to give you some advice on training on cyber hygiene because I've got a course on Udemy and also a game that I'm rolling out in a couple of months. So please remember, be safe, not sorry. And this is where I would like to end off my, uh, my video cast this week with uh, a little gossip where uh, the, the, the battle continues between Apple and Facebook. And now Apple users like myself can choose to not allow apps like Facebook to steal data from users. So the war goes on and we'll just keep our eyes open and see what's going to happen in months to come. So if you are a tech business, think of how you are going to protect your customers' data because I believe customers will appreciate when companies respect the data of their clients and customers. So my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. And please remember to like, subscribe, and if you would like to connect with me, just feel free to find me on social media. And my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. Be good, be safe, and see you soon. Goodbye.